Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Sfez, a Tiki specialist. In this video, we will view together how to use Git with Tiki. But first, a quick tip about Tiki. You may need information and even run a diagnostic about your server configurations and settings while you install Tiki. Tiki developers integrated a standalone script that checks over 100 different things and provide contextual feedback. Log as admin in your Tiki, go to your control panels and in the admin navbar under the item tools, click on server check. You will find hundreds of information and you'll be able to debug what happened, what is happening, sorry, on your server. If you like that quick tip, click on the like button and share everywhere you can. Now let's start this Tiki Express tutorial about Tiki and Git with the participation of Fabio Montesfusculo. Hello Fabio, how are you? I'm fine. Where are you in Good. Yeah, where are you in the world? I just forgot. India this time or no, now I'm in China, Macau. Oh traveling guy. Okay. But you are from Brazil, right? I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, thanks to you and uh, and your work on the documentation. Uh, we have uh, a lot of Tiki documentation. This documentation is available at dev.tiki.org and I'll put a link somewhere there. We will divide this presentation, uh, this Tiki Express tutorial in two, one for non-developer and one for developer. And in the first section, we'll discuss about Tiki installation option, how to install Tiki using uh, Git on your computer and how to install Tiki without history, how to upgrade, how to check status, etc. The second section is about the Git workflow for developer, what is changing for SVN Tiki contributors, how to create your fork and set up your branch, how to commit, how to submit your changes, how to create a merge request and submit it for approval, how to keep your branch up to date, how to do cherry picking, backport, uh, and how to edit your message before pushing it. Tiki installations option using Git is one, of the option, but you should use only our regularly released package. We release on a three months basis and packages are available at tiki.org slash download. But some user will prefer to use a continuously updated version of Tiki. And every reason is valid for that. Uh, you want to use a fresh feature that is evolving. You want to integrate the last fixes to come, etc. Using Git, uh, is possible, a bit like we used previously, uh, like we used uh, svnapp.php in doc under DevTools or the svn update command. So let's start by installing Git on your computer. Check first if Git is already installed using your shell terminal on your local or using your SSH access for a remote server. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is the sign you should stop here as using Git require minimum of knowledge. This tutorial and the information given are for developers or potential developers. And if it, this is not your case, you really can or should install Tiki using the regular release package at tiki.org slash download. Everything will be fine. So in your terminal using git dash dash version, you will see what version of Git your system is running. It is running on my computer and I can see the number version, but if none is running on your, then you need to install Git using the link I give under that video at atlassian.com and use the corresponding installer or package for your system. After the installation, run again git dash dash version to confirm your Git is installed properly. Once this is done, you may use Git on your system using any GUI available or even from inside your IDE like I do. For this tutorial, I'll continue using my terminal. It is important to understand the command and the workflow, then you can use any tool you prefer. So having Git installed, let's clone, create a working copy of Tiki from the official Tiki repository. The Tiki repository is available at GitLab. The complete package is less than 3 GB and contain all the history and commits done in Tiki. You can bring it all or just a part depending on your needs. 
to clone a specific branch of Tiki without all the history, you need to add parameter to narrow the download. For example, if you want to create a Tiki 20 with minimum of history inside, a folder named uh, MyTiki20, you can type in your terminal git clone dash dash branch equal 20.x dash dash def equal 1 and the rest of the, uh, the repository and at the end the name of your folder MyTiki20. After a few minutes, your working copy of Tiki will be ready to be set up and connected to your database as usual. While you have your Tiki installed, the Tiki repository will continue to change and be updated. To view the differences between your working copy and the remote repo, you need to fetch the changes and to indicate what you want to compare with what. Let me show you how. I type git fetch and then to be sure I'll use the right name I do a git branch dash a to see all the available branches and to see on what branch I'm on. Here I am on 20.x and oh by the way git by default use vim editor that require you to type q to quit the editor. Uh, uh, it, it may be tricky. Once I have all the information, I can use the diff command to do the comparison. git diff 20.x space origin slash 20.x. I can see that something new was committed and I can update my working copy using git pool. That's it for this first part. This is very basic, but I hope it will give you enough leads to start learning and using Git with Tiki. Let's start now the second part of the video that will give more details and valuable information for Tiki contributors. Here we teach using the GitLab how to fork a repository, uh, how to create a merge request. In GitHub we call pull request. In GitLab we call merge request. It's pretty the same. Uh, so you fork the repository, you make your change, create change, and then you request the the core team to merge your change to to main repository. Let's review this in detail. Git is a distributed version control system and is being used to implement additional contribution to millions of projects around the world. Some of you use it already and there are plenty of information about Git on the internet. But remain essential to understand that using Git, any developer will be able to submit his change to the Tiki project and that the modified code will be available for everyone to see, compare and test before being merged to the corresponding branch of Tiki. With Git on Tiki, you have the Tiki repository upstream your fork of the project and your working copy. You will push your changes to your fork and then submit your changes for approval. Once approved, your modifications will be merged from your fork to the ticket repository. To summarize again, you need to create your GitLab user fork from the Tiki repository at GitLab. You create your working copy from your fork on your local computer. You code and edit on your local working copy. You copy also on your local working copy. Once you're done, you push your changes to your fork. Then you create a new merge request and participate to the approval process. That's the process, let's do it now. Log or sign in to GitLab and go to the Tiki project. Click on the fork button at the top of the page. I have already a fork, so it won't create one, but the first time it should take between 10 to 20 minutes. Now, from my own repository, I will create a local clone. From this clone that contain all the Tiki version, history and branch, I'll be able to check out a working copy for any branch it contains. By default, it is set to master, trunk. I'll check out, switch, to 
20.x by typing git checkout 20.x. Now, let's pretend I want to fix something. I will create a different checkout using a name that means something so other developers can see, understand what this is about. git checkout dash b fixing dash something. Doing this, I will create a branch on my local so I can start editing files. Now I can modify a file of my working copy. I will edit the readme file. Save. I check with git status and I can see I got a modified file inside my working copy, but not yet in the staging area. It is displayed in red. Git add readme will add this file to the staging area. Git status again and now the file name is displayed in green. I commit the file to my local repo and add a commit message. Again, but important, this is local only. No change is sent to our remote fork repository. I enter git log and I can see the last commit and the last one is the one I just committed with its hash number. We will see later how this hash number will be used for a cherry picking to add this modification onto different branches to do a backport. Now I can push my branch with my changes to my fork at the point of origin of my local repo, the remote repo at GitLab. I use git push dash u origin fixing dash something. You will see important information displayed and here everything works fine. With Git and GitLab, you will have help all along the way. Here you can see they are already forcing you should create a merge request and are giving some hints. Back to GitLab into my fork, I do a refresh and I can see an activity update about the commit I just pushed. In the branch selector, my new branch is here too. create a merge request, I click on the Create Merge Request button. It opens a form where I can see fields I can fill to submit my commit for approval to the rest of the community. The approval process is not automatic. Other developers may discuss your commit, suggest modifications and approve, so it is merged into the main code. As we understand, this process is not done as you submit your request for a merge. The code of Tiki may change. In GitLab, there is a mirroring repository option that will keep your branch up to date. On your fork, you go to Settings, Repository, where it says Mirroring Repositories, click on the Expand button. In the field Git Repository URL, pass the URL repository of the Tiki project. It will update right away and after that on a regular basis. I think it's every six hours. There is no backport in Git, and there is cherry picking. Cherry picking in Git means to choose a commit from one branch and apply onto another one. This is in contrast with other ways such as merge and rebase, which normally apply many commits onto another branch. To do a cherry pick, you need the hash of the commit you want to apply onto another branch. You can find it at GitLab, right next to the commit line or on your git log in the branch you committed. Let's cherry pick backport our last change from branch 20.x to 19.x. I get the hash number of my commit from my log. I copy it. I check out branch 19.x on my local repo and so it set the working copy. Here I type git cherry dash pick and I pass the hash number. My test hasn't been pushed back onto the remote repo and I won't push it. So I can't complete and type enter. But you got the idea and you know what to do now. The Tiki community keep trace of backport prepending the commit message with the SourceForge revision number. 
There is not yet a mechanism to help you with this and you will need to manually edit and amend your commit message before pushing it at the moment I publish that tutorial. While your commit hasn't been pushed yet, and you can edit the commit message and add the SourceForge revision number to the commit message. To do so, enter git commit dash dash amend. From here, git will launch via editor or any editor if you change the git default setting and open your pending commit list. I had a fake number revision and save and quit. That's it for this video. There are other gear commands that will be useful as well as plenty of parameters and even a shared option described on tiki.dev at the documentation pages we saw previously. You have plenty of documentation online and uh, you will uh, find more than you need uh, depending the case you are trying to solve. It's too big for a Tiki Express tutorial, so Google it. Also your IDE like PHP Storm uh, integrate git interface and commands so maybe I will do a video about this one soon. Please, if you like that video, click on the like icon and share everywhere you think it should be. If you don't want to miss my next tutorial and want to be notified when I publish a new video, just click on the bell, the subscribe button of my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and may the power of Tiki be with you.